Hi, good day. My name is Maria Green. I'm a health benefit consultant with U.S. Family Health Plan, and I'm responsible for Connecticut. Today, we're going to go over some information about TRICARE, different options that you have since you're on TAMP status. I am just a little bit about me. I served for 26 years on active duty as an MP for 10 years, and I was in the recruiting command for my last 16. So I have Jason Prosser, where he takes care of the Long Island area, and he's going to give you the presentation. So there you go, Jason. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. All right, everybody, uh, welcome to this webinar for uh, TRICARE information. It's going to be a rather quick webinar. Everything that we're going to tell you, uh, you can ask questions uh, more later to Maria, or you can go online and validate everything or ask more, you know, ask more questions online that way too, or you can call. So here's a quick uh, look at what options you have available to you. So first we're gonna talk about the regions because there's a lot of questions in regions and the changes happened. So I don't know how long any of you have been in. If you've been on, in for a little while, this may not matter to you, but if you've been in for a long time, then this is where confusion happens. So depending on what your situation is, here's how the regions work. There are currently only two regions uh, under TRICARE. It is East and West. So there used to be three, now there's only two. Why this matters is because here in the East, you are under TRICARE East, which is Humana Military. Humana Military is the contractor for the whole TRICARE East. That's who your main contractor will be. Uh, if you're on the West, as you see, it's HealthNet Federal Services. What a lot of people don't know is under the TRICARE regions, there is also U.S. Family Health Plan. We have our own map of regions that we cover that also is TRICARE East related, uh, but we also go into TRICARE West. And I'll talk about that a little bit more if that gets confusing for you. But just so you know, these are the two main regions. These are the ones you're most likely familiar with if you've been in for anything you know, over a few years. All right, moving on. So next we're gonna talk about the coverage. So after you separate from you know, your orders, depending on what it is, these are some things available to you that you should be aware of, you should know about. One is TAMP, which is the Transition Assistance Management Program which gives you the ability to use TRICARE Prime or TRICARE Select, one or the other, which I'll discuss each of those in a minute. You'll also have the ability to use TRICARE Reserve Select if you fall into the eligibility category. And then same with CHCVP and TRICARE Dental, which I will not discuss either one of those, but they can both be found at TRICARE.mil for more details. Today, we're going to talk about TAMP. TAMP is basically giving you that full coverage of service for the next 180 days when you come back from a deployment. Now, those dates are based off of what's in DEERS, what your orders say. So if you got back from your deployment on a January 4th, starting on January 4th, if that's what it says in DEERS on your orders and the whole nine, it all matches up, 180 days from then, you have the, you know, the, uh, the full medical coverage in that time period. You get to take advantage of it for you and your family. It's the same coverage you would get as if you were on active duty. You have a lot of questions about that, so I want to clarify. Those 180 days is the same coverage you would get as if you were on active duty. So therefore, you can also have dental in that time frame and get your family also taken care of. That's six months worth of coverage. All right. Enrollment is required. You see it highlighted on the screen with the asterisk. It's required. So if you want that uh, prime coverage, you've got to enroll in it. And I'm going to talk about that prime coverage next. So TRICARE Prime, what is it? How does it work? TRICARE Prime is a network plan. That means you have managed care. So I'm going to use myself for an example. I'm a retiree. I retired from the Army. I did my 20 years. And now that I'm retired, I'm on Long Island. So I signed up with U.S. Family Health Plan, which is a TRICARE Prime option. That means five minutes down the road from me is my doctor. He's my doctor. He's in the U.S. Family Health Plan network. He's a TRICARE Prime and U.S. Family Health Plan network doctor. So I go to him for all my care. So if he wants to refer me out to anything else, say a dermatologist, all he does is say, hey, okay, you're good to go to a dermatologist. I go find one in my network and I go use that dermatologist. As long as that uh, dermatologist is in my network, I'm good and I'm covered. That's TRICARE Prime. Again, as you see, underlined enrollment is required for this plan. Um, it says some beneficiaries pay annual enrollment fees. That will not be for those who just got back from a deployment that does not apply to you guys, just so you know. Also, it says prime service areas with the asterisk. 
So it depends on where you're located and where you live. Some of you, if you live way outside of a prime service area, you may not be able to apply for TRICARE Prime. Just depends on your situation. We won't know until you ask us. So ask, all right? Next is TRICARE Select. TRICARE Select is different from TRICARE Prime, and here's why. TRICARE Select is a non-network plan. It means you can go to TRICARE Authorized Providers um, or TRICARE Providers, but you can also go to anyone who's uh, pretty well in the network for TRICARE period, whether it's TRICARE Select Prime doesn't matter, but you're gonna pay for that plan. So with TRICARE Prime, it says you have to use these specific providers, TRICARE Select, says we don't care who you go see as long as you're willing to pay out of pocket for it. All right, I'll break that down a little bit and what those costs look like. TRICARE Select is something you are auto assigned to, which you know, for some of you is fine if you don't mind paying out of pocket for, for your service, but if you don't wanna pay out of pocket for service for you and your family, uh, TRICARE Prime is definitely the way to go. It's one that I recommend, it's one that I'm on. So what that means is when you get back from your deployment, as soon as you get back, your spouse and or kids, depending on what you have, are automatically enrolled in TRICARE Select. So that means the minute you come back, you all have the ability to go to doctors, you know, free of charge if you choose to, the TRICARE Prime. But if you use the TRICARE Select plan, which a lot of people do because they don't know that they're automatically enrolled, it, they go and they get fees for it and they have to pay for it. So make sure you pay attention to that and make sure that like, that's why this is huge. That's why this is here for you guys to know that you have to enroll. Okay, moving on. So what does that look like? So as you see here, the first, uh, first column shows what services. Second column is a TRICARE Prime. Third one's TRICARE Select. If you look at the fee comparison, obviously TRICARE Prime, to me, I feel is, is, is very cut and dry. It's very simple. Zero dollars. As long as you're in a prime plan with either us, which is U.S. Family Health Plan, or Humana, the TRICARE East one that you might be familiar with, it's zero dollars for your coverage. That's for you and your family. If you use TRICARE Select through Humana, we do, US Family Health Plan does not have a TRICARE Select plan. That's only through Humana. If you go with that plan that you are auto assigned, you will pay for it. All right, so I just wanna clarify the differences between the two. Again, this, this is key right here. TRICARE Prime is a network plan that you do not have to pay for. That is covered under U.S. Family Health Plan and Humana. You can pick one or the other, all right? Next is TRICARE Select. That's only covered through Humana, and you will have to pay for that, but you don't have to use the network. Just want to cover those bases because I get a lot of questions. And that I'm a fast talker, so again, you can always go back and look at this again. All right, moving on. When you've completed your 180 days, this is for those who might not have other health insurance, TRICARE Reserve Select is a great option for you guys. It is a premium-based health plan. Uh, you have, uh, it's a good price. I put that way, I'll give you the, I, I'm not going to go through all the details right now. That's not why we're here. If you want to see the details in writing for yourself, go to TRICARE.mil and you could, you could do straight up TRICARE Reserve Select and I'll show you the costs. All right, there's a whole schedule, shows you everything in TRICARE.mil to show you those costs and fees for TRICARE Reserve Select. I highly recommend this you and your family if you do not have other coverage when you get out of TAMP. Moving on. So who is U.S. Family Health Plan? Why do we exist? Why are we here? Why are we different than the other TRICARE Prime that you're used to? So we have a separate contract with Department of Defense. We are a Department of Defense contractor that we had over 35 years ago said, hey, we want to provide military service members and their family members and retirees the ability uh, to use our health benefit which is TRICARE Prime, the same one you get now. So if you want to use a TRICARE Prime plan, US Family Health Plan is just the other contractor for TRICARE Prime. So what you're familiar with saying to people is, hey, I have TRICARE, here's my ID card, I'm covered because I have TRICARE. Well, what you're saying is I have the TRICARE benefit, which is taken care of through Humana. Well, the same would be for us. If you use US Family Health Plan, you will not use your ID card. You'll get a separate member ID card. It's a, like a regular health insurance card. And you'll say, hey, I am US Family Health Plan. That's my coverage for a TRICARE Prime benefit. What does that cover? Glad you asked. So your coverage is the same as all TRICARE Prime coverage, guys. A lot of questions go, why is there two different you know, options? Well, hey, would you like to have options? I say, yes. I, I was here on Long Island for three years with Humana and now I've been with US Family Health Plan for the last two years under coverage. I like my doctors under US Family Health Plan better than the ones that I had with Humana. That's my choice. I like my network 
I went with it. I stayed with it. My coverage is the same though. There are perks to using U.S. Family Health Plan. Again, that's something you could find separate and you can uh, look on our website and see what those perks are to see how we differ from the Humana plan. But the goal here is to make sure you understand that you have to enroll to get your TRICARE Prime benefits, guys. So everything listed here as far as coverage is what you get. Just make sure you enroll in it. As you see, I want to point out the behavioral health services and the pharmacy. We have separate contractors for that also. So yes, we are TRICARE uh, Prime benefit. You will still get behavioral health and you'll still get pharmacy. They're just under different names. So just know that's also something available to you through us. Now, our providers. Our providers are rated and ranked uh, top 100 uh, right here uh, as far as U.S. News and World Report. Now, this again, these are provider partners for U.S. Family Health Plan. These are not the same ones for Humana. Now, Humana may have some of these in their network, but that's not the point. The point is these are our partners. So me being here on Long Island, I prefer to use Stony Brook. I love uh, the network. I love the doctors and providers. That's usually who I go to. The biggest one out here is Northwell Health, and another one you might be familiar with if you come out here or might even be in your area, depending who's on here right now, is Advantage Care. But I go to Stony Brook for all my care. It is a wonderful, wonderful uh, provider partner with us, and it's just something I know is, is you know, it's good to use that I can take advantage of. And if you look on here, you might recognize some of those names also in your area. Again, all these things uh, you can talk to um, Maria Green about and find out if those uh, providers, you know, are, are in your area or someone you can use. You can also go to our website, which I highly recommend you guys do. If you have a doctor you're using or you want to use and you don't know whether we take him or her or not, go to usfhp.net, find a provider, and you can look them up. You can do mileage, zip code, specialty, last name, first name, all that, and find them. Very simple to do, very easy to use. Last but not least, we're going to talk about what you need to know, not for just now, but for the future. If you plan on staying in the military for any more than you know a year or two, you might need this information. I highly recommend you use it. If you're coming up on retirement, you absolutely need to know this information. And if you're separating, you need to know this information too, depending on whether it's a medical separation or you're just PCS and ETS, and depending on what you're trying to do. So get out your phone, take a quick snapshot of this, get out pen and paper and write this information down. This is absolutely the most critical part of this webinar is knowing that you are eligible because if you don't know if you're eligible or not well one you can just call us we can tell you whether you're eligible but if you don't know and you don't know whether you have coverage or not what are you going to do if you or one of your family members has an incident where you need health care and you don't know you're going to go you're going to go to the doctor and you might end up paying for it and it could be hundreds of dollars if not thousands or tens of thousands of dollars depending on what happened and it's happened in many cases since I've been on this job, lots of people went to the doctor thinking they just had TRICARE coverage, not knowing what that coverage was. So know what your coverage is, access DMDC, know how to use DEERS, know how to you know, make the phone calls and get on Mill Connect and use, use the information available to you. Everything you need to know is at your fingertips. You can go to the TRICARE.MIL website, you can go to Mill Connect, and you can also go to USFHP.net, which is our website, to find out more information on what you guys need to do to get covered. All right. As I said, it's a short webinar, very short amount, of, a little bit about uh, of information, because I know what's most important is you guys get on with Maria Green and ask her the questions because she's going to be the one to take care of you during this time frame. If she is not available, call her 1-800 number. It's right there on the screen, 1-800-241-4848, hit option three for enrolling, because when you guys enroll with us, you're going to have Maria right there to ask her the questions. You're not going to call the typical 800 number and get a different person every time. You can reach out to her directly. And that is the benefit of using U.S. Family Health Plan, TRICARE Prime. That is all I have. Maria, I turn it back over to you. Thanks, Jason. I just want to say one thing before we close this out. Uh, Jason mentioned the orders. Just make sure that you check DEERS, make sure your orders are in the system. You can call me because I have access to DEERS also. Um, you can call me, uh, the yellow ribbon, uh, coordinator has my cell phone number. Uh, call me anytime. Once again, thank you for your service and welcome back. Stay safe out there.